conservative new media viewers what's going on it's me John D. Villarreal okay so I have a question out there for all of the YouTubers internationally and that is this it's very simple and I don't know what we're gonna have an answer for right now but I need to ask you this because there's a lot of stuff that just happened and we have to talk about it and that is do you believe in life on other planets aliens extraterrestrial life. Now I'm not necessarily talking about hey they have crazy technology and they're flying spaceships down here and doing all that. The reason I ask this is because we have a whole slew of information that we brought to you recently. Number one, the Kepler telescope or uh, project from NASA and stuff like that, okay? That has basically, we just talked about that, it has revealed that there are over three times as many planets that are in that Goldilocks range, that perfect range, right, for life to exist, meaning between the sun and all that, you know, distance from the sun, all that type of stuff. And they found many, many more planets anyway. And this thing has just gotten started. It's only in its second year. Number one. Point number two. We know that there are billions and billions, maybe more, of planets out there. Okay? So that's just like law of numbers and averages and stuff like that. Number three. This other information I talked about where I believe, and I'm going to look, I'm going to double check that, link to it, everything like that. We're going to, we're going to keep putting more stuff in the description here as we go. So there will always be more articles. Check back with this video often, right? This is going to be the prime video. We're going to talk about this stuff, and we'll update it and do other videos, but we're going to link, continue to expand the links in this video. Now, that the, I believe that they have evidence that, like, yes, there uh, has been little microbes or, or bacteria or something, whatever, like, you know, um, or, or fossilized remains from like Mars or comets, this and that, whatever. The fourth thing is all these sightings, like around UFOs, this, that, whatever, and in conjunction with the WikiLeaks type of situation where the you know, release of some information, supposed cables about you know, UFOs, stuff like that, and also New Zealand you know, declassifying their stuff and releasing, you know, I mean, in other words, whether you believe that, that all this stuff was natural phenomenon, military stuff, hoax, something in between, or, or whatever, the point is that there is a lot of documented evidence now of just, you know, UFOs or unidentified flying objects by military and others, other folks. Now, a lot of these things turn out to be, you know, silly. We expected that. Some of these things, still unexplained. Okay. Now, and there's a, a, now a push worldwide for more of this stuff to come out. Citizens are demanding that their governments release this information. Let's all be on the same level playing field here and talk about this. That's what people are saying. Do you agree with that or not agree with that? Maybe governments need to have secrets. I don't know. Well, of course they need to have secrets, but I mean, on the UFO situation. Other people are saying, no, release it all right now. Maybe you take a position in between. We're not taking any position on that. Now, the fifth thing that's important is there is new science and discoveries over here in Mono Lake in California, they have now seen, uh, and I'll talk about another study here, that there are is, I believe, bacteria that exist in arsenic and in uh, uh, an environment that has, which would kill almost everything else. We didn't think that that bacteria could live in that type of situation. And we have um, uh, a situation where there's very little phosphorus, another thing that's we believe critical for life. And in other words, we have life that we've seen and have observed here on Earth that is living in a condition that before this, we didn't think any life could exist. This now expands the possibilities of places where life could exist out there in the stars among the billions and billions of other planets. Okay, now, let's also, there is also another study, I believe, I, I, I may have this wrong, but I believe it was connected to NASA or something like that, where they were basically looking at, like, um, you know, uh, different planets that have like ice geysers and stuff like that, in other words, water on them and other places where they're like, yeah, you know, we have now figured out that there are a lot of other places that we didn't think life could exist, that we think that maybe it can exist now. So, you know, and look, I may get, I may not have all this perfectly right, I may have gotten some names wrong, some studies wrong, I'm, you know, you double check this, I'm going to have links to this stuff, like that. but I mean, it's all in my head right here, it's all coming together, and my question is, Look, this stuff has just hit explosively within the last year or two. All this put together, I'm asking you right now, do you believe that there's life on other planets? Me personally, John D. Villarreal, and I'm not speaking of all conservative media, I think there is. Now, whether that's 
intelligent alien life, whatever. I don't know. I think the evidence continues to mount more and more and more and more. And you just the law of averages and law of numbers. You'd be, in my personal opinion, uh, an arrogant fool to not believe that there isn't life out there or a good chance of it. I just, I think that there, that the, you know, the chances are just too good. And and really, when you think of it from a logical perspective, whether you are total creationist or intelligent design or total, you know, evolutionary atheist, whatever like that. Any theory you want to subscribe to, I don't see how you would, let's say, okay, God made the whole universe, everything like that. Fine. Why would he have one planet out of uh, billions and billions and like trillions of light years or whatever it is where there's life? That makes no sense. You don't need that. That's like having uh, uh, the ocean as a fish tank for one little minnow. Kind of a waste of space, right? That's one thing. Second thing is if you're, let's go all the other extreme. Oh, you know, evolution, you know, we were formed by comets or ice comets. Or okay, so you're saying that didn't happen on all the billions of other planets? Craziness. So I want to know what you think. That's what I think. And look, the evidence will, will bear it out. We're going to find out, you know, I believe we will find out sooner rather than later. I would expect, in my personal opinion, a major discovery on this within the next 30 to 50 years. I'm not saying it won't happen before 30 years, but I, I'm saying, you know, within 30 years, I'm, 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 I'm about 70% confident we'll get a major discovery within 30%, 30 years, and I'm a, about 95% confident we'll get a major discovery on this within 50 years. What do you think about it? Talk to me. Comments below. Subscribe above. You know we love science, and we're going to bring you all the breaking information, and that's what we did right here. I'm John D. Villarreal, and this is Conservative New Media.